Hey guys, it's Velocity Reaper here, and we are back again with some more Black Ops 4 talk. And today, Treyarch has officially given us a statement about the private beta. And they give us a lot of little information here about what the beta is going to hold for us and everything like that. So it's going to be exciting. So we're going to go ahead and read through this together real quick. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a pretty short video, so don't worry. I, I kind of briefly look through it, and it's not too long of a post, so let's go right into it. Today, we're thrilled to announce some very exciting news. This year, we're delivering not one, but two betas for our Black Ops fans. The private multiplayer beta kicks off on August 3rd, first on PlayStation 4, followed the next weekend by the Xbox One and PC. Then in September, a brand new, uniquely Black Ops Battle Royale experience comes to life in a first ever hands-on with our new mode, Blackout, first on PlayStation 4. So you guys should know by now that it is a PlayStation favorite year again, so DLCs will be early for PlayStation and then it'll come to Xbox and PC about a month later. So moving on ahead, they give us a short little brief, you know, thing about, you know, what their plans are with the beta and everything like that. This, this little paragraph I read through and it's basically just saying, you know, the beta is important to the development of the game, you know, and our feedback and everything like that. And I highly suggest participating in the beta because usually it helps you understand if you want to buy the game or not. So then, let's see, they have more specific details about each beta time. So let's get to it. On the multiplayer front, here's what you need to know. PlayStation 4 starts August 3rd at 10 a.m. PT, ends August 6th at 10 a.m. PT. So if you happen to live where I live at the moment, that time frame is 12 p.m. for us. So then for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, that's when Xbox One will join the beta. So about a week later. So actually... PlayStation is getting about like a week and a half beta. We get three days. They get um, almost, what is it? No, oh, wait, no, they get like a week. They get one week total. Okay. So then it starts August 10th at 10 a.m. PT. So again, 12 p.m. If you live where I live, if you're Central Standard Time, um, it is 12 p.m. for us and ends August 13th at 12 p.m. So we have the PC beta early access as well, which starts August 10th. So they will join us kind of along with Xbox. Again, like I said, it goes PlayStation first, then Xbox and PC kind of join in a little bit later. So again, August 10th, Central Standard Time, that's 12 p.m. And then PC exclusively on Battle.net. So I don't think you can get it anywhere else. I don't think it's going to be on Steam. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know anything about, you know, PC stuff. So, you know, I could be completely wrong, but I believe it's it's saying that you can specifically only play it on the Battle.net services, I guess. PC open beta. Oh, beta early access. Oh, so there's an early access, and then there's also a PC open beta for everybody. Okay, so that's August 11th through the 13th. So that's that's good. So there's going to be two separate betas for you PC players out there. If you happen to be a PC player, um, you will be able to play an early access one and then one that's open to everyone. So participation has its rewards. All participants in the beta will receive a unique one-of-a-kind calling card that they can probably display, which isn't really that special. 90% of the player base is going to most likely play this. So, you know, if you're, you're like, oh, I really need this calling card you're not missing anything trust me and for every player that achieves max rank in the beta they will earn a permanent unlock token to apply to any piece of the creator class content when the game comes out so that's pretty good actually um permanent unlock tokens are pretty big and and they did that for i believe they did that for world war ii as well if you pre-ordered you get a, a a permanent unlock token so that's actually really good really really good stuff from them so this is just a little image just to show you guys a little infographic of of everything that's going on with the the beta and everything like that so nothing too crazy there and then for the private multiplayer beta, players will begin fighting through six maps, two of which will make the first public appearance. Additionally, fans will play new specialists and react, reacquaint themselves with returning specialists Nomad and Prophet, who will be bringing with them brand new gameplay mechanics built for Black Ops 4. Some additional intel... Okay, we'll get into that for just a second, but I'm going to say real quick about those maps. Okay, so this said two of them are making a, a first public appearance, so obviously four of the maps are maps that we've seen in previous trailers, which I know I haven't really covered a whole lot of Black Ops 4 stuff on the channel. I kind of just kind of lost track of it, and, and there was a lot of information, and I wasn't sure if I was able to pack that all into one video, so I, I kind of just stepped away from it, unfortunately, but... Uh, if you guys would like me to do a video about Black Ops 4, kind of detailing some of the stuff that we've seen so far, then let me know, and I will go ahead and do that. But um, just so you know, four of those maps are going to be massive. We've already seen it before. If you guys heard, probably haven't been really keeping up with that, but uh, there's some really cool maps out there, so we'll definitely have some good stuff to go with. Um, modes of play. The private multiplayer beta will feature fan-favorite game modes like Team Deathmatch Standard, Domination Standard, Hardpoint, that's Standard, and Search and Destroy, alongside a brand new objective-based game mode, Control, which was designed to bring out the best of Black Ops 4 in multiplayer gameplay. Control, I feel like, oh, oh wait, never mind, they give us details. Let's just say, I don't, I don't really know a whole lot about Control for some reason. In Control, teams alternate rounds between attacking and defending two st static 
objectives. Each team has a limited number of lives in this first to three wins matchup. So strategic strikes and defensive positioning are key, making for some fast and frenetic gun gunfights. So that's exciting. That's actually super exciting. Gearing up, we bought the pick 10 system back to creative class to give players complete customization over their loadout. And with its return comes a few new changes. Loadout with special issue equipments that designed exclusive for each specialist without costing a point against pick 10. Gear is an all new slot designed to up the ante on your style of gameplay. Need cheaper score streaks? Comsec device? Heal faster, stem shot, gain an advantage in situational awareness, acoustic sensor. Only one piece of gear can be used per loadout, so choose wisely. Weapons now have unique sets of attachments, including a new class of powerful attachments called Operator Mods to really focus each gun on its individual role in combat. Because that's interesting. So that's, that's actually really interesting. So we got regular pick 10, and then we obviously have like one sort of you know gear piece that we can go along with that set. So that's good. That's going to be interesting. I like that. PC, working on a partnership with Binite. Okay, so that's nothing too crazy. Um, the PC beta will continue the dialogue between us and our players. Every piece of feedback helps us. Okay, so that's, again, just saying, you know, beta is really important for, you know, kind of just building that community and understanding, you know, what needs to be changed, what doesn't need to be changed. So I hope I didn't keep you guys here too long uh, for what you came here for. Obviously, I'm super excited about the beta. There's going to be tons of videos coming from me about the beta. Probably a lot of, you know, solo play, a lot of play with friends. And then, you know, I probably want to keep videos going into the future in terms of, you know, kind of testing out different guns and seeing what works best in the game and seeing what you guys can do when the game first comes out so that you can start off a really good record and, and have a really good career in Black Ops 4. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, sub up, share around, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.